how should training vary when you're on a cut versus when you're in a hypertrophy phase? Now, a lot of people take this way too far and day one of their cutting phase make whole scale changes to their training style. Ultimately, it needs to be very, very similar and what's built the muscle will retain the muscle. There's no need to instantly change your rep ranges or your entire style of training. However, as you get deeper into this cut, there are some considerations. You'll find that certain movement patterns will feel awkward as your body weight drops. So for instance, your chest pressing and your squatting patterns, simply because your leverages change quite a lot. You'll also find that you may need to move towards movements that have a better stimulus to fatigue ratio as recovery becomes more of an issue as you get very, very lean. And this might be moving away from things like barbell back squats and deadlifts to things that zone in a little bit more accurately on the target musculature. So it might be a case of swapping out those two, for example, for things like a hack squat or pendulum squat or an RDL, where there's less bycatch from other muscle groups and we can more accurately put our stimulus onto the target musculature without knackering you out systemically. But aside from those couple of small things and accepting that we may not be able to push volume quite as high as we would in a calorie surplus, the changes are fairly minimal.